We are real excited about this segment because we're talking about how to use squash. You know, we all have those extra vegetables in our garden, might be tomatoes or cucumbers or squash, and we're trying to find uses for them. So Carol Swan is back now with some ideas on how to use winter squash. Carol, can it be a hard vegetable to kind of think of recipes for? Uh, some people think it is. Actually, it's so versatile. Uh, I know some people wrote in to our local newspaper and they gave the recipe of squash soup and I go, oh my gracious, there are so many things you can do. Mm -hmm. And the squash has such wonderful nutrition values. You can uh, mm -hmm. dice it up and put in casseroles. We have these slices. You can bake them. Just season them and bake them, put them in a pan uh, with a little oil on them and uh, cook them. These are some more pieces. Just mm -hmm. cook that way. You can slice it and bake it. This is a baked one right here. Okay. And it's a nice, soft, real fleshy. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the nutritional value. Um, Calorie-wise. Calorie-wise, a cup has 80 calories, which mm -hmm. seems like maybe a lot, but it's not for everything you get out of the nutrition. There are 457% daily recommended amount of vitamin A, and that's not a typo, that's amazing. Wow. That much vitamin A in one serving. Uh, you get 10 to 13% of your daily recommended amounts of vitamin E and B groups, 52% of your vitamin C, and 15 to 17% of potassium, manganese, magnesium, six to eight of calcium, iron, and phosphorus. So it's just full. Chock full. Of of nutrition. Great, and so you've got a few recipes to share with us here. Um, winter squash bread, is that right? Yeah, you just okay. use it like your zucchini bread recipe mm -hmm. uh, with eggs, flour, uh, baking baking soda, baking powder, etc. Use that in place of the zucchini, two cups of that, of mm -hmm. the cooked squash after it's been baked. Okay. And to bake it, you just, uh, I have one here, you take the seeds out, and the seeds, Actually, if you want to, you can clean the seeds up and roast them too if you want to. Kind of like pumpkin it. seeds, yes. whatever, yeah. And you just put it in a pan like this, cover it with foil. It takes about two hours, so if you want to plan, you need to plan ahead mm -hmm. for your family. Okay, and then you have a side dish recipe too? A side dish of taking the cooked squash, mixing it with cream cheese, sour cream, a uh, little salt and pepper. If you want to add a little sugar, I didn't have, don't have that on the recipe sometimes. A little sugar, mm -hmm. uh, put it in a casserole dish, cover it with cheese and then bake it makes a wonderful side dish real tasty real, rather rich but real tasty but plain squash with salt and pepper is just wonderful I eat that a lot oh you do so if someone wanted to just do that plain squash yeah. how would you do it you just cut it in half okay take the seeds out put it in your pan cover it with foil and cook for two hours at 350 two hours yeah so you gotta plan ahead a you gotta bit plan ahead so mm -hmm. if you want to cook it come home from uh, cook supper with your family put it in the oven then then you could have it for supper the next night. All right. And it freezes well, cooks well. They keep well. They can keep, if you keep the stems on them, yeah. they'll keep in your basement in a dark, cool place for a year. I cooked one oh a year. My I cooked one a year old the other day, and it was still pretty tasty. Really? So you don't have to have it in the fridge or anything no, like that? No, just in a dark, cool place. Yeah, dark, cool place. Oh, good to know. Well, what a versatile mm -hmm. vegetable here. And if we, you would like those recipes, I should say, we will have those okay. on our 1011 Facebook page. I actually put mm -hmm. them up yesterday. So. Just go to our uh, Pure Nebraska Facebook page and you can find all of those recipes. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Carol. Well, thanks for having me. This right. is fun. That was great. Back to you, John.